Greetings and welcome. This is an update on HEA 1443. If you recall from last spring, the legislature wanted to study the possible combination of the deaf school and the blind school, whether it be one school moving to the other, a new location, or something along those lines. A meeting was finally called. The task force was comprised of three members from the deaf school and three from the blind school, the superintendent, a parent, an alumnus from each school. There was also a representative from the Department of Administration. The seven of us made a decision based on the information that we shared, and now I'll turn it over to our parent representative. Hi, I'm Erin Sparger, and I'm a parent at the Indiana School for the Deaf, and I am representing Indiana School for the Deaf as a member of the task force. And as And as a representative on the task force, we have been charged to figure out how to best address the needs of the school. So legislators have been focused on addressing those needs throughout the school. They are not focused on programming. Right now we are helping them understand the deaf community is comprised of culture and community and they have been very impressed with all of that. Hi, I'm Greg Gantz and the alumni rep representative and again the purpose of the task force was to study the combining of the two schools and the possible change in location for either or both schools, if we're going to stay or where we would move. So we met last week and again today and determined that we were not in favor of combining the two schools but would rather research a possible co location of the two schools and either possible options. An additional recommendation was made to not go further outside of the Indianapolis area, but to remain within Indianapolis. Based on these changes to the recommendations, the task force voted and it passed. This will be um, taken to the state budget committee for further study. Information from the task force will continually be shared as soon as it is made available. Again, the legislators were highly impressed with both ISD and the blind school. They recognize that these top-notch schools need to continue, which brings much pride. I appreciate Aaron and Greg's involvement and ability to articulate how great our programs are and their ability to look at the different opportunities that lay before us. Thank you.